welcome back to New York Blinks. Business in Kingston, Jamaica felt the effects resulting from the Tivoli Gardens uprising. Hotels were below normal capacity and restaurants saw a drop in their receipts. On a media-sponsored trip by the Jamaican Tourist Board to show that Kingston is on the upswing, the journalist Ross sat down with David Shields, Deputy Director of Tourism for the JTV, to find out what's happening in Kingston. I'm here in Kingston, Jamaica, speaking about the resurgence of Kingston, Jamaica, with the Deputy Director of Tourism for the Jamaica Tourist Board, Mr. David Shields. How are you doing tonight, very good, Mr. Very Shields? Good. And welcome to Kingston. Yes, it's a pleasure have you guys having us here, and it's a pleasure to be here. Well, let's go right into the, the, the meat of the situation. The whole insurgent that happened back in May, and that affected tourism somewhat. Um, hotel were, were experiencing um, losses and so forth in terms of uh, occupancy. Um, talk to us about that. Well, yes, we, we, we in fact, our tourism numbers up to April, we've been doing extremely well. We had that peak winter season which ended April and we our numbers for tourism arrivals were up 7.4%. So we were really on a growth path, a growth um, tra uh, trajectory um, and we were very comfortable with it. The events of May um, had its impact on, on Jamaica in, in many ways. Um, the perception of the city, the perception of Jamaica um, was impacted negatively as persons saw images which were not necessarily conducive to what we promote as good quality of life and certainly not what we promote as a tourism destination. But that's part of the reality. What we have seen since then um, with the state of emergency which was in place then um, and um, other um, um, restrictive uh, travel um, advisories, um, those held us back somewhat. Those have been removed and today as we speak, um, four months, three months later, we're actually seeing um, a significant improvement. In fact, looking at the first um, week of August, we're seeing um, strong arrivals. Now, I say that for Kingston because we found that in Montego Bay our numbers were still very, very strong. So you're saying Kingston is bouncing back? Kingston is has bounced back. Kingston is open. If, if you were to walk out of this facility um, and you go three miles away from where we are, you would be seeing a, a city that's really alive, especially on this Friday night. Spurn the, the uprising, so to speak, in, in Tivoli Gardens. It's a matter of economics and a matter of uh, security and control and so forth. Um, right now, as you stated, uh, certain corporate entities are going back into downtown Kingston to, to cause a resurgence in terms of um, economic development for those communities. Speak to us a little bit about that and what else is the government doing in terms of uh, regenerating eco the economic life of certain areas in Kingston? Our central bank still has its headquarters in downtown Kingston. Um, so what we what we found is um, the government's thrust to encourage um, entities relocating to Kingston and certainly government entities operating from downtown Kingston. Um, that, that move is afoot um, and a number of entities are already taking the steps to go into downtown Kingston to restart and to and to set up their corporate headquarters. Digicel. Um, Digicel has been a, a, a major player in, in our own economy and now influencing the world from Jamaica with Jamaica as their base. They're moving and setting up their corporate headquarters um, in downtown Kingston. The market is, is being refreshed now um, and, and I think what we will find is the, the, the famous Carnation market market will, 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 will come to life again, um, I think renewed and refreshed. What would you like to say to the Caribbean diaspora in the Northeast uh, United States? 
about Jamaica coming to Jamaica? Well, listen, the northeast of the U.S. is a very, very important uh, market for us. It's an important area. A lot of Caribbean people reside in that marketplace. A lot of our own Jamaicans. Um, a lot of visitors come from the northeast. And I often want to say to our Caribbean people, um, remember that our homes in the Caribbean are, are not resort destinations, but they are countries. They are countries that are going through developmental issues. We are only 48 years as an independent country, so we are a young independent nation and we have our developmental issues that we are sorting out. But we need to keep the conversation positive. We need to focus on all the great things that's coming out of the Caribbean. It, it is when Caribbean people come into the Caribbean, into Jamaica, into the rest of the destinations and experience what exists here that they can truly see once they go they know and in Jamaica that's what we say once you go you know and trust me we've been experiencing that since we've been here and every time I come to Jamaica I was born in Jamaica every time I come to Jamaica I've experienced new things so Jamaica once you go you know David Shields thank you very much thank you very much and come back soon oh I will be yeah. definitely thank you very much Good. Jamaica. Once you go, you know.